Or, uh, do we have any NYXL fans in the building? Here goes a trick. What about Uprising? Two Boston Uprising fans. They're loud, though. They're making it hurt. But uh, I don't know about you guys. That sounds like a crowd of people who are ready to get these matches going. So uh, Blizzard Arena, make some noise one more time. And let's get this payload moving. just a team. They have become close friends. And now bear with me as I go full Care Bear on you. <laughs> okay. But honestly, if I believe in the power of friendship, which really just means that nice good communication, same goals, <laughs> no egos, respect, and that trust. This is what the team has. And this allows them to have that cohesion, to have that chemistry, to trust in each other's shot calling and in each other's uh, engagements <laughs> and disengagements. Look at them. Sleepy What's note. not to love? Joey, your belly button is glowing with happiness it's right true. now. As it's we true. take a look at this lineup, Johnny, what should we expect from this squad now in Stage 2? Well, I think there are, we, we expect a, a lot of good adaptions coming out of the Boston Uprising, especially when it comes to the dancing and the camera work right here. Um, but they have such great coaching staff coming from Korea. We have Krusty coming from the RX Foxes lineup. Ooh. But yeah, watch it. I get this, I get this. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's a high ground. Oh, I can jump touch. Jump low, jump low. So while the Doomfist combo didn't exactly get that huge team fight win, it did push Houston back and get them to kind of clump up in that hallway where they were easily dealt with afterwards. Yeah, that was a great counter shatter by uh Yeah, for sure. <laughs> by Gamsu. Really did a good job of reading the shatter coming out from the outlaws. I get this to be a little bit like death volley, right? You're just gonna kind of keep you know, moving forward with Coco playing Arisa. Oh, oh it's the four-man pulse bomb. Nothing left of Dallas fuel but cinders and charred extremities. Perfect. He, he timed that so well, Matty Gollum, and just as soon as they walk together inside the side room. What I was going to say is Dallas fuel is going to use this comp and wait for the players of Boston Uprising to come to them. Ideally, this doesn't happen when they come towards them. <laughs> Coming on in, behind that coalescence. Bakuma keeping that shield up. <laughs> now going to drop it blocked there by Gamsu. Nice play on that Reinhardt. Yeah, 4D underwater chest, my man. Gets knocked, no, knocked away. So Very low. In fact, he just picked it up. Now it's going to be a matter of when he sees his opening to get in there soon. Eliminate Striker to start and gets the team back on note as well. A lot of damage done here. Can Valiant take advantage of this? No, Dream Casper will get a cut it short. Literally two kills, bacon three. And he's even got a big monkey to go ahead and give a haircut to as well. Yeah, I mean, we, we talk about Boston and the supports and tanks, and they're all serviceable, oh! above average players. But then this is the all star right there. Dream Casper has made such a big name. Stage one out on that before we get to the live patch in stage two. Oh, Casper there, he's re ran into the he's coming into the place of glory, but he puts himself in the most vulnerable position possible for a Farah, and no resurrect here. Verbo looks like he has a Valkyrie, there it is, it's coming in, but now oh. Casper wants to get rid of him, swaps him aside, a Dowdy oh. gets taken down! I don't think I've seen that in a long time! That was filthy! Dream Casper makes a big play there, but it's really no. Note is actually sitting under agility oh, when he's okay. using the rocket barrage in the sky. Five minutes of four man hack. Beautiful from Hurek now. Prophet's gonna clean them up because he can like, trying to stay alive here, but he's gonna get bumped around himself. Note has a self destruct and Gamsu died before he could use his primal rage and the Lion Spitfire. Looking much happier now. Now the overtime and Striker on the point. Note and mistakes are waiting for their chance to get in. It is still Boston who controls the point here. Note will use the self-destruct just because he's taking so much damage coming on in. London has still not flipped the point here, Mitch. It's going to be a coalescence used Prophet, what? by the Boston Uprising. Prophet just throws his pulse bomb into the wall there. That could have been a big mistake, a costly one. The EMP comes in and now it's London on the back foot. Somehow the Boston Uprising have turned this around. Bit by bit, they stole it out. They've done it. Unbelievable. How do you turn that kind of round around? What is this match? The Boston Uprising. Snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Oh, Even they can't believe it, Matt. And, and Hureg made such a sick play, man. Huck, I'm gonna leave it to you because you're the president of gaming. Which team will you be facing off against first tomorrow? Well, we don't have a warm up tomorrow, so we wanted to pick an easy opponent. Picking LA Gladiators. Oh.
Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, you heard it from Huck. Anything you want to say to that? I'll see you tomorrow. Dive. They're going to try to boost in. Oddly enough, they're not running a Zenyatta, but they're going to try to just get angles. This is cool, but Casper goes over the top first and is met by Logix. He's going to get it. He does get over eventually. That was awkward. Oh, man. I love it, though. I love seeing you know way to play. That's what it's all about. You know when your parents asked if your friends jumped off a bridge, so would you? <laughs> I believe the answer is yes, and sometimes it makes sense. Now the kills keep coming through for Boston. I mean, Neko's popping off right now. That's two kills for him, and that's going to be 442 on the clock left over for Boston. Pretty insane attack round here on Volskaya. Definitely good for the uprising. Remember, they are undefeated on Volskaya coming in, affecting the DPS of the fuel out of the fight. I feel like this is the first time in Stage 2 that we've really seen that Stage 1 Boston Uprising. It's really, really nice to see. Impressed a lot of us. Yeah, in part, uh, a lot of, a lot in part, Gamsu. This Boston team are the real deal. They are the real deal. All this stuff, pre-season about them coming last, we all did it. I did it. I put it in my power rankings. We were wrong. People need to wake up now and realize that these guys are out here and they're hungry find the right angle now. They're going to take low ground. Both tanks will go up and Casper will go with them. And this is exactly it. Both ah. tanks dive up immediately, forcing him back, forcing him to give ground and not hide behind the shields. And Dreef Casper, they're going to decapitate those that already. Note, finds the kill. Both of the back line are dead now for Spitfire. How do you hold? They outthought themselves. They played themselves right there. Casper generally goes up. So you saw both of the supports vacate that area, expecting it when both the tanks went up there. Casper noticed it, just went right after the, the support line anyway on the right hand side says I, if i don't have to climb the wall i'm not going to dash through the right hand side spaces uh you know you can ask the the valiant deepest parents i suppose but soon especially needs to do you know, a lot of space to do anything with right if he has no space like well, he's trouble man that's huge what are you doing no four kills in that self destruct okay sends it straight on in Casper, who Prophet said is the best Western DPS. It's their main take. Gamsu was on point from start to finish here on Winston. I mean, I want to highlight this player because I think he was one of the weak points versus San Francisco Shock. He was playing a bit way too passive, not really decisive in his engagements overall. And usually in this meta, you see the main tanks dictating the shot calling, uh, calling for Dreamcast, in this case, who do you want to dive on? But get Gamsu in this game, I mean, he just stepped it up. They were so aggressive and shut down everyone in London Spitfire. This kind of counter dive style that they've been developing throughout the entire match has been so impressive. And Boston as a team just keep impressing me more and more and more. They're, they're just coming out with all of these players improving at such a drastic level above a lot of the other teams here. Nobody was expecting Boston to be doing this well at the start of the season, but now here we are talking about them taking a win over London Spitfires, the potential best team out in the open. Not the best tar like not the best ways to deal with Farah here in terms of uh, long range hit scan, but we'll see how they can actually file. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody else is there and they finish those kills. So you need to see them work a little bit better together. Nomi, protect. Not so much attack in the past. Now, though, it needs to be a bit of protection. You see that defensive dive manifesting for the Boston Uprising. They spring for them. And it's a bloodbath. Note getting very much involved with a lot of those eliminations. And that's what the shock need to be ready for. Yeah, drops in on Drake. I think he's trying to get in his head at this point. <laughs> there are definitely other targets, but he seems to be prioritizing getting rid of the enemy junk rat or the enemy Jake. Most times, the latter. Fanny there just floats a little bit too close to the middle of the crosshair for Casper. It's a very small correction he needs to make to remove the mercy. What do you do here? I, I think Luma has to probably go back to. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, stream, guys, we give me more. Uh, I was going to say, Muma definitely has to probably go back and switch. This Uprising squad enters the match on a ridiculous 14-match win streak. They have been perfect so far in Stage 3. And if you look where they started, it's amazing to reflect on the evolution.
It really is. They are the dark horses of the league, the underdog story incarnate. Boston Uprising, you would have never expected them to be in this position. I thought, honestly, that Note would be riding the bench the whole time. I didn't even know who this guy was when he came into the team.